Hi, I'm Dan Rosenstark with MIDI Designer and in this video I'm going to show you a new feature for version 2.175 um, and that's called label value source and also we're going to show LED labels uh, or LCD labels too. Um, so here's my setup. I've got two knobs. This one's normal. Uh, this, one, uh, this one has no ticks and this one has name ticks or really this one has 11 regular ticks and this one also has 11 but two of them are named um, let's go into the setup also um, so like I said the first knob has 11 ticks from negative 5 to 5 display 0 is 64 and the second knob it has 11 ticks uh, display 64 but it's using uh, name ticks as you can see um, and I've got a label here and this label doesn't do much so getting out of design mode going back into play mode I move the knob around and nothing happens to the label of course as always and that's the new feature we're rolling out go back into design mode double tap on the label label value source this new box here I'm gonna change it to knob one Knob one jiggles to show me that it's uh, it could be set. I'm going to do apply now, set, and now you can see that this value changes to one. I'm going to exit design mode and just show how that switches. So it goes from negative five to five, right? So it's just taking the real value of this control and displaying it. Now, if I were to switch it to knob 2 which has name ticks uh, label value source here knob 2 apply now and uh, this is an interesting uh, feature here is the back turns green for this label why because the value has been nulled out if ever you enter a label and there is no value to it it should or ever you enter design mode and there is a label that has no visible value, it should be highlighted in green so you don't lose track of it. Exit design mode and now move knob 2 around. Nothing's happening until I hit this value, the low value, the very low value, right? And the loud value. So that's 5, very low, low. So we can just mark a few values and have them show up on an external label. Of course, the label can be sized just like any other label and even um, as always we can choose an LED color we can choose an alpha so we could keep it at some low alpha and um, that's the main gist of the first feature um, one thing that's important to note or one addition to the feature is I've got another toggle in here uh, for the name ticks knob where I can go into advance and go and uh, tap hide name ticks and that will hide I'm gonna unhide for a second that will hide the little name ticks value on here this will only work if there is a label uh, set with this as label value source so hide name ticks and now my knob looks like it's two pieces it's got this loud and it's got this very low low. Um, this also, these obviously can be chained within super controls and sub controls and I can't wait to see what users are gonna do with this. One third piece of this feature that I also wanna mention is what happens if you assign it to a button? So instead of knob two, I'm gonna to go to this stop button and apply now, it turns green, there's no value, but when the button is on, it'll take the button's label as its value. So off, on, and whatever this button is named, it will take. Um, so that is uh, basically almost everything for label value source. One other thing is we've got another toggle here called L use LCD font. We might call it LED font. Um, which will use the LED font, which will recognize only from other numbers in MIDI Designer. And now we're using it here. I'm gonna to change to a more classic LED color. There's some green, yeah. Okay, 
so yeah we can use LED uh, the LED font for any label really and put anything in there that we want um, so that's the whole feature and this is called label value source and it's coming out in 2.175 it's entering beta today and should be out within the next two or three weeks but let's say by the end of January version 2.175 of MIDI Designer. Uh, thanks to everybody who has requested this feature and every similar variant to it. Um, I can't wait to see what people are gonna do with it. And happy holidays and happy new year. Thanks for watching.